Hi, it's me, Ellen. So last week, WordPress 5.9 was released, and um, after my videos I did with the showing the overview of 2022 and introduction to WordPress 5.9, I got a lot of questions about all these new terminologies and features we have now. So, um, Ellen, can you explain what the editor is? What is um, what are patterns? What is full site editing? What are block themes? What is new about those themes and all these um, terms like templates, template parts? Um, so I thought I'd do like shorter videos explaining these new terminologies and features that were introduced with these latest released. So um, let's start with full site editing um, block themes or just block themes or full site editing themes. Uh, however you want to call them. There's no like official name yet. Uh, maybe block theme is the most official name. So I have 2022 installed and our two full set editing themes that we have been working on um, so far. So how to look for WordPress um, full site editing themes in the repository, the free theme repository is um, click on add new and then you have to use the feature filter and here you find um, the filter full site editing and you can um, apply the filter and then you have all the released um, themes for full site editing that are available in the repository at the moment and you have to really keep watching because there are new ones released almost every day and um, there will be a lot more coming out and I guess also more premium themes and um, yeah, just people just starting building with these themes. So we are all just really still early adopters. But full site editing is so exciting for WordPress that I think it's really cool if you have the possibility to jump on board as early as possible. So this would be now. <laughs> and explore what all these because it's so much like easier if you get the hang of it and it's a little bit of a small learning curve but then you're like oh you don't want to go back and there are a lot of um, uh, possibilities that you maybe can move away from page builders which is great because they are like mostly um, if you have a big site maybe it's a good idea but for smaller sites they're maybe a little bit bloated. You don't need all the features they add and full site editing and these themes are just small and um, come with WordPress core. You don't need extra plugins. So it's really an exciting time and I really like it. So um, first let's go um, back to the themes. And so the first thing you see because you're under appearance is the editor. And this is where kind of the magic happens. And as you can see, it's still in beta. So it's really early, the early, early version of full site editing and it's going to get a lot more advanced. So uh, maybe keep that in mind if you're like not happy with some things or some things maybe are limited at the moment. It will change fast and um, will get more advanced with every release. And um, you can also install the Gutenberg plugin if you like to get new features earlier or try them out. So full set editing on block themes is a means. So the entire theme is built with blocks and um, these blocks could be bundled in patterns. And then you have the editor. Um, still in beta that makes it possible that you edit all these um, block elements, all these components or patterns um, inside this new, completely new um, area here that um, makes it possible to edit the entire site. So the first time now in WordPress we have a visual um, board where we can edit um, the footer, the header, every element of our website. and. Um, so the editor comes with these little um, sidebar here and it's opening up if you click on the WordPress icon or if you have a favicon on your website, it's your own logo. So if I open and close it, I get the editor and first time I'm um, at the moment, it's under appearance editor. So site always means my home page. This could be just the blog, the index page or an, any um, custom landing page. I um, assigned either still in the customizer or you can assign these under, um, under general settings and then reading, right? Settings reading. So um, to 
because this is a whole new area of WordPress, of your admin area, you have these little um, link to the dashboard. So this brings you to the old school admin that you're used to. And then back, I go into the editor, appearance editor, and I'm in my site editing um, area. So there are three concepts currently inside the editor. You have templates and template parts. So templates, and you get this overview here, and it's just a list. So this um, could change from how it looks at the moment because it's really just the first version. Template shows you all the templates the theme comes with or all the templates you have created. So see this little add new button here. You can actually really create your own templates and save them, and they're going to be safe for you. Then template parts are the smaller parts of um, like a theme um, exists of. So template parts are parts of your template. So this at the moment in most themes, you will have a number of headers on one header and a footer template part and maybe some additional things. So for instance, in our um, magazine style full set editing themes, we have um, created the single related posts per template part. Um, because under templates, you see we have multiple um, single posts. So you have the default single post and you have single post without featured image and single post without um, uh, with a featured image that is in portrait mode. This is because of the, the design of the theme. And you have also single posts without comments. So you have um, different single posts and we use the single post uh, related post template part in all these templates. And the cool thing is you can click on any item here and you can customize it. So for instance, if I want to customize my header, the default header that I have, if I go in the front end, I have this here on my website. If I want to customize it, I have it available here. Uh, I think I maybe changed. And as you can see, um, there's one tip I always add for the toolbar here. If you're in like small areas in the template part, you can go in uh, in this uh, add this little action tool options here and put your toolbar to the top, which helps to work in these designs tremendously. So, and another tip is the list view. So if you open um, this little uh, list view uh, button here, if you just click on it or you use control option O, um, you have your list view and this is really helpful to give you an overview of all the blocks used in this header. So as you can see, and um, this is familiar from the blog editor that you're used to um, work with posts and pages maybe already. These are all um, blocks. So this is a navigation block. Um, this is the I know flex block, the site title block. And if you want to edit one of these blocks, you just go into the settings here and you're back into these um, into the panel that you're already used to. Um, you have all your block settings. The, this is just like in the block editor. It's just for not only for posts and pages, it's for the entire um, website. So headers, footers. Um, so this is really exciting. Um, so what I would suggest you do, and um, the cool thing is you can even like now edit your 404 page. So it's really simple to, to edit these pages that you never had access for before um, in a WordPress theme, at least not like in classic WordPress themes uh, without page builder. So, um, and this is all in WordPress core. So this is really cool. Um, so the last thing I want to show you is under appearance editor, you get one more feature for full site editing that is um, styles or global styles. So. Um, here on the top bar, you see this little um, circle with uh, white and um, black divided. And this is the site edit, uh, site global style setting. So it's still in beta too. So um, there are three areas at the moment that you can globally customize. So for your entire website, first that's typography. So you can set your general typography. Um, to from default what the font uh, the theme comes with to um, any font the theme has added 
and you could um, change the default line height and the default font size too. Same for links. And then you can also change the colors. So this is the themes color palette and this is the uh, by default assigned themes for the background and text and you could change that. Um, you could change that to another color or you can just go into the color palette or into the gradient palette of the theme or duotone palette and customize it. So with these little color options here, you can edit the color or reset. So because I changed this blue color before I first reset um, to default and I show you that. And then if I click onto the color palette and let's say I don't want to have this light purple, I can um, click on the color and customize it. And then every area or every pattern that was applied that had these background tertiary font applied um, everywhere in my template uh, in my theme will have now automatically like every pattern available will have this um, light blue color available. So it's really cool. And everything where uh, this color is applied already on pages I've created and I've published. Um, if I use the background tertiary font before and I want to change it, it automatically applied. So this is really, really handy and a really great tool. Um, then you can also, um, the third option here is you can um, customize blocks. And um, I always use the heading block for an example because it's so helpful. So you can change the default size or appearance of your heading. Um, and then uh, one more thing that is super um, helpful for posts, um, because we have kind of a magazine style theme here, I can um, change the post post title. Where is my post title? I oh, yeah, here post title. So if I can, I can change the font family of the post title here um, to like from serif to sans serif and um, that is then the default setting. I think here I've customized it in the block so it doesn't apply right away. So, but this is then generally applied every time you add the block and you can still inside like individual blocks on your pages or on one of the templates, you can still change that. It's just the default setting applied to any of the blocks. So this is really, really handy. You can by default, customize your blocks and your typography and your colors. And again, this is still in beta, so we will see a lot more changes coming in the styles area as well. So I think one of the next features is that you have multiple style um, options, like ready to go um, different style combinations or color palette combinations available in the in one in one theme. And you can just quickly switch them around, which is super cool and exciting. And I think we've seen that previewed in the 2022 theme and it didn't make um, make it into the 5.9 release, but I think with um, six at the latest, we will get that. And if you want to check out again, the Gutenberg plugin has always like the latest things that aren't available in core yet, but it's cool. Like on production sites, on um, live sites, I maybe would like not activate the Gutenberg plugin and just use what's available in core. It makes it uh, more stable and lightweight and you can just go with what we have available here. So um, let me know if you have any questions or um, any recommendations for anything else I should explain. And uh, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.